Welcome to Geopolitical Horizon. This is NRCI's new original video series, and I look forward to sharing my perspectives on geopolitical issues around the world. Today, let's first look at the situation in the Persian Gulf. While the risks for an imminent war between the United States and Iran are now lower, risks remain. And if European countries or the United States, or together, they decide to launch a maritime coalition in the Persian Gulf, the risks will again increase because Iran will perceive that as a threat. However, there are interesting developments ongoing. During the summer, the UAE started withdrawing the military forces from Yemen, and on Friday, Houthi's leadership in Yemen decided to freeze attacks on the UAE. In addition, UAE's Coast Guard commander on Friday met with Iran's Border Guard commander in Tehran. So there are interesting back-channel talks ongoing between both countries and Iran on the ground. In Hong Kong, however, the situation is very serious and China's leadership, which is now gathering at an annual retreat in Beidai, about 200 kilometers from Beijing, are probably considering whether or not to intervene militarily in Hong Kong. What is most likely going to trigger Beijing's decision if they decide to intervene militarily is if Hong Kong's authorities are unable to handle the situation and if critical infrastructure such as logistics, business services, aviation, transportation, logistics, etc. is impeded upon over time. On the Indian subcontinent, the situation changed dramatically this week when India decided to revoke Kashmir's special autonomy status. From an Indian perspective, that in itself means that Kashmir is now a part of India and in any future negotiations between India and Pakistan, Kashmir is not a part of the negotiations. Well, from a Pakistani perspective, that is completely unacceptable as, pa as Pakistan considers Kashmir to be an integral part of Pakistan. Pakistan also sees that because Kashmir is a Muslim-dominated region. Again, thank you for joining NRCI's Geopolitical Horizon.